Um, so as you can see, or you can't see, but you are currently on a fucking box of tissues because I forgot to buy a tripod. Anyway, um, I bought this camera for this holiday, but as you step outside, it just fogs up and you can't see anything. So probably a bit of a waste of the money. But regardless of that, I'm currently editing a video for the trading side of things. But anyway, yeah, so I'll come back from Dubai about three weeks ago with a friend. And then obviously girlfriend was on my case about going on holiday. So we're back here for 10 days, but nothing changes. Gonna be pushing as much content as I can. Obviously this style of content isn't my favorite and I feel a bit fucking weird. But everyone's constantly suggesting it, including work friends, so I'm gonna give it a go, see how it goes. But yeah, um, I'm gonna see you guys in the next clip. Yeah, it is, especially this time of year, it's just too hot. All right, chaps, I did want to um, come on here quickly. So it's 10 o'clock, woke up at eight, um, went to the beach club for an hour and then I'll come back. So I've got to jump on a work call quickly, so I'm gonna do that. Um, but one thing I wanted to say as well, along from yesterday, is a misconception with, you know, going on holiday. I'm always getting these comments saying you're going on holiday too much, this and that, like when are you gonna actually like focus on work and stuff. You don't understand when an entrepreneur or someone like myself or the same mindset, these types of people go on holiday, this isn't a break, this isn't a holiday. So when you're in this situation, you're telling people like, you know, or family members, I'm going on holiday, and they're gonna be like, oh, you know, you're gonna be working, what are you doing? And I'll be like, yeah, I'll be working every day. Like, it's normal. Like, I'm gonna continue the same routine and the same working. So there's only two responses you'll get from that. It's either, that's bullshit, you ain't gonna be working, like you're lazy, you're just going on holiday all the time obviously incorrect um, and then the other one is that's boring you know you're going on holiday with your girlfriend and you're working that's boring i understand why it could be boring but at the end of the day i am not going to be stopping my routine or stopping work for a holiday right there's not been one holiday in the past four years that i've sat back from and not worked once and enjoyed other than a three-day stag day which is completely understandable because the type of environment you can't really focus in so that's one thing i wanted to say and another thing is obviously you have to be obsessed with the journey because essentially Going on these types of holidays, going to Dubai, seeing it as like a one-time experience, whatever. You have to be, you know, excited and kind of obsessed with the concept of, you know, there are going to be times where you're going to be down at a beach club, kind of chilling out, enjoying yourself, you know, having a bit of quiet time for like an hour. And then you've got to come back for an hour to a team meeting. But essentially, I like that concept and that's the concept that I, you know, that's how I work. I enjoy it and that's just... That's work. So you have to be obsessed with the concept. You have to be obsessed with the workload. It's just your day-to-day -day basis is not going to change until you retire. Like this is going to be the same lifestyle until I retire. Yeah, it's just one thing I wanted to say. But what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to jump on a the call. Then I think we're going to the mall, so I might be able to get a couple of clips out. Guys, obviously you've seen I've just at Aura Sky Pool, I've come back now. Um, an agency approached me yesterday with, with an idea, so I'm about to jump on a meeting with them because they want to you know, show me an idea that I have and how it could benefit me as a company. So I'm jumping on that now, that's pretty much it. I've not really done, done much today other than obviously the Sky Pool, so um, yeah, see what happens in this course. This is the shit you don't see, boys. Been in the lobby now for three hours, girlfriend upstairs, I'm on holiday in Dubai. And you don't see this shit. I've been on three calls, about to go on my fourth one. This is the shit I see, man. Behind the scenes, this is effort. You know, this is what you've got to do to build, build your dreams and chase your dreams. I'm not here to try to be some big guru, I'm just, I'm here to show you the reality. I'm going to finish up this call and I'm going to go to bed. And I'm up to uh, early. Trading, doing this. Okay, so I just wrapped up another call. A YouTube agency reached out to me yesterday. 
for some I'm looking for a YouTube agency, but for us they're a charge of what I need. You know, two videos a week with just clipping and cutting and there's no animations or nothing, they're just gonna be doing the trading related stuff. Um, too much money. Um, but yeah, anyway, aside from that, there's gonna be some big changes, I just wanna keep you guys in the loop as well. So as of next month I'm completely changing up the way of you know how I'm trading. I'm completely changing your system approach just gonna be standing out the same but different pairs and I'm not gonna go too much into that because that's not for this video. Um, but one thing I wanted to say as well is scaling the business is so so important. You know some people can get super comfortable when just you know get the business to a certain amount of month of income right and then they're seeing it as you know, you know 5k a month let's go to the buyer let's do all this and that but yeah some people can do that and that's fun you know what I mean but there's going to come a point in time where your business reaches a point and it's going to be very hard for you to you know, progress or start making more money which is why it's super super important not to get too comfortable because it is so important to you know, reinvest in that money back into the business so you see me you see me coming on these holidays and whatnot but you know the majority of the money i'm making i'm putting straight back into the business has been i've taken on a long form editor this week a short form editor this week for you know tiktok youtube shorts um, I've taken someone to help me run the Discord, so doing all of that is now going to set me up for the next three or four months to put time into other ideas, you know, potentially scale the business even further. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to say really, scaling the business is super, super important, you know, getting too comfortable is the biggest, biggest thing for a lot of people, and that's why sometimes you know, it doesn't work out, you know, I've had friends that get to a good income, and then they'll enjoy themselves and get too comfortable and then they lose it all. So it's super important to stay humble and you know really focus on that end goal. Try not to get too excited when you start making a good amount of money. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump on yeah another call um, and then you know daft tomorrow back to England, back to the grass. So yeah. Alright chaps, we're back from Dubai. I'm having to hold the camera because I don't want it to fall over. We're back from Dubai now, back to reality. I'm off to meet someone, uh, one of my work buddies. He's hosting an event on Saturday. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk about the importance as well as networking. So these events that I'm hosting in London, these free social events you can just come to, speak to like minded people. And it's just good having these people around you. Like, I went to an event, I met, uh, one of my buddies, Brandon, he does personal growth agencies. I'm looking at starting work with him because he can benefit me and I can benefit him. YouTube agencies, I've got people that I can message when I need help with videos or thumbnails, like it's just anything. Building relationships and connections with these people are going to benefit you in the long run, right? And it's just so important. And you don't even have to just go to holidays to Dubai all these expensive places you can just go to fancy expensive hotels in London and just buy coffee and work there for a couple of hours you haven't got to actually spend a shit ton of money you can you know put yourself in a position where you're surrounded by you know these people and these individuals have got more experience than you and you're going to benefit from it completely for pretty much nothing do you know what I mean and I've only been taking networking seriously for like the past six months and the growth in terms of like business and stuff has been crazy. You know, I've been working on a lot of new products and new ideas because you know I'm surrounded by people who've got more ideas and creativity than me. So I just recommend it to absolutely everyone. And if you do want to get into networking, shoot me a message on Instagram and I'll keep you updated on the, the events that I'm hosting in London.